Hey everybody, it's Brad and my lovely bride, Krista, from the Big Fat Family Homestead. <laughs> We're bulking up for football season. Gotta what can keep, I say? Gotta do something to keep up this girlish figure. Hallelujah. Anyway, today we're going to share with you how we make the most amazing pasta pizza sauce. We kick it up a notch by putting in tiny little sausage balls, and they're oh so tasty. So let's get cracking. Okay, so at our house, we try to make Friday nights family fun, fun, fun. Too many, too many funds. funds. It's too, it's too fun. much fun. Family fun movie night. And when that when that happens, well, we have to have homemade pizza. And well, you can't have homemade pizza if you don't have homemade dough, which is over on the counter. And you can't have homemade dough unless you're willing to make the homemade sauce. Yeah. So today, we're gonna show you how we make our awesome pizza pasta sauce. We're gonna add some Italian sausage to it so they're kind of like tiny little meatballs. And this stuff is ridiculous. It is so good. And so um, we're gonna get started on that right now. Now, one quick thing before we get to the ingredient list. Today, my family's making this for our dinner because it's Friday and Friday's pizza night and pizza night means awesome family fun. But we love this stuff so much that we end up making extra to have throughout the week. So we don't do a double recipe, but we do a recipe and a half. When I show you the ingredients list here in just a second, you're gonna see on the counter the uh, recipe and a half sizes, but the but the ingredients on screen will show you for one recipe, just so you don't go, hey man, I think he's trying to deceive me. That looks like a whole lot more than what he's talking about. All right, now as for ingredients here at the Big Family Homestead, everything is pretty much always basic stuff. So what we've got here is one chopped onion, over here, onion, one chopped onion. We've got one tablespoon of fresh garlic. We have two tablespoons of olive oil. We have, now you're gonna notice, remember what I said about we're making it a bigger recipe, but the recipe calls for two cans of diced tomatoes with the Italian seasonings, the basil, the oregano, and the garlic, and then two cans of plain. But remember, this is we're adding more just because our family's bigger. The, the recipe is correct on screen for one full recipe. You're also gonna need a tablespoon of salt, and you're also gonna need a teaspoon of dry oregano. Now, over here, may I guide your attention to the big honking piece of meat right here? You could make the sauce just like that and have no meat in it at all, and that is fine and dandy. But what we're gonna do is we're kicking it up about 10 billion notches. We're gonna add tiny little sausage, Italian sausage meatballs into this sauce, and it was gonna, oh, you have no idea. There are no words. Okay, now over medium-high heat, you're gonna go ahead and put your oil into your pan. We're using a cast iron skillet because, oh, it's good for you. It gets that iron up in your in your blood, yeah. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our aromatics. Cooking onions and garlic. We want these things to get a little translucent. And the garlic's over there. In you go, in you go, stir it up. And while that's getting happy, let me show you what's going on over here. Now this was sausage that was just ground up, regular old Italian sausage, the fennel, the whole nine yards, and she's making them into these kind of little chunkish ball, meatball things. And when this gets happy, then those guys are gonna go in, and it's gonna be oh so delightful. Be a good time right now to point out that if sausage is not your thing, well first of all, you don't need to use it, uh, but you could use hamburger if that's your thing, or a different meat. Whatever floats your boat. Say if this was say like, you know, Jano Zero, he could be using, you know, I don't know, like cat or turtle toenails. He uses all kinds of things. He's very creative. All right, let's take a look and see what we've got. It's been going just a little bit. Ooh, yummy. Our meat is browning up. Oh my gracious, this is gonna be fantabulosic. Okay, next up my lovely waif of a wife. She's going to go ahead and uh, take these diced tomatoes and puree them just a little bit. You want to have some chunks in there, but it does not need to be super, super chunky dunk. So, puree with the immersion blender away. Thanks, baby. Okay, our sausage is browned up, and it looks like we're ready to go ahead and put our pureed tomatoes in there. The rest of our seasoning, oh, seasoning, sorry. And then we're gonna get, um, 
this simmering happily along and then in a few short hours you're gonna have a symphony of perfection. In goes our salt and in goes our oregano. And now you just mix it up and it is, well, it's just gotta simmer to whatever consistency you like. We go about an hour and a half and then this is absolutely perfection. Be back to show you the finished product. Way to go, Mumsy. Ho, 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 ho. We've waited our time, and our time of waiting is over. The waiting of time is, is timeless, and it's over. Would you look at this beautiful, beautiful sauce? Mm. Okay, time's up. Time to taste the yumminess. Mm. Mm. That is ridiculous. Mm. Oh my gosh. And did you see how easy that was? It's just basic, basic stuff. It took no time at all. Mm. That is so tasty, baby. Mm -hmm. I think I might keep you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> there it is, people. I'm Brad, and this is my lovely bride, Krista, from Big Family Homestead. Thank you guys for sharing the video. Please, please don't forget to subscribe. It greatly helps us out. And you guys have an amazing day. Ha, 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 ha.